Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can make a battery from clay. Alright, so to start this project I've got some copper sheeting. There's a little off cut here. Okay, it is a bit corroded. But that's no problem because we're going to be sanding it. So I'm going to cut this copper into pieces about so wide. Uh, just a few of them. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so then you need to cut some galvanized sheet as well. Just be careful that you don't cut yourself because this is really, really sharp. So just please be extremely careful. Okay, so once I've got these all cut to size, I'm going to cut some rubber. Now this rubber I'll be using to insulate each cell from each other. So let's go ahead and Cut some rubber. Then I collected some clay from a nearby dam. Okay, so this is just a little quick demonstration. So I've laid my clay down and I'm going to put that copper sheet on there. And then let's measure the voltage. So let's see what we got here. There we go, 9.85. That's amazing. 0 0.0985 volts. So that's um, a lot more than the potting soil. Potting soil is only like 0.8. So that's a win for me. Okay, then we can solder some wires onto the end of these plates. Okay, so now that we got our clay, we're going to add a generous amount of salt. Okay, so the voltage is, is good, but we need the amperage, so this will increase the amperage. So let's just add a bit of salt to this. And we're just going to mix this up. Also, I'm just going to add a bit of oil as well. This is just normal cooking oil. Um, just so that it doesn't dry out. Okay, so let's go ahead and just mix this together. Like so. Just get it really in there. And then we'll plaster this onto the the copper and zinc sheets and yeah then you can plaster on the clay and sandwich the plates together Then I held the place together with some industrial insulation tape. Then I further insulated each cell with the strips of rubber I cut. And I packaged all the cells into some electrical trunking. Then I connected all the cells in series.
Then I insulated the ends of the wires with some heat shrink. This gives off a cool four and a half volts. Remember to charge the battery before using it. This will increase the amperage. And as you can see, it lights up this powerful LED perfectly. I hope you enjoyed this video and ready to make your own clay batteries. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.